Has the recent cryptocurrency market sell-off left Cardano's 45 cent support hanging by a thread? Let's delve into the details. Over the past weekend, the cryptocurrency market took a significant hit, and Cardano was not spared. The price of Cardano took a tumble of nearly 30%, falling from 62 cents to 45 cents. This drastic drop has left Cardano's price teetering precariously above the 45 cent mark. With the market fluctuating wildly, and the anticipation of the Bitcoin having looming ahead, Cardano's price is facing a real struggle. The question that's on everyone's minds now is whether or not this 45 cent threshold can hold as a support level amidst these turbulent times. Looking back to mid-March, we saw Cardano's price at a robust 81 cents. Fast forward to today, and the price has declined to 44 cents, forming what is known as a V-top reversal pattern. This pattern is a strong indicator of seller dominance in the market. It's clear that the selling pressure on Cardano has been immense, leading to this significant price drop. Interestingly, the 44 cent level coincides with the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, marking a key support zone for Cardano buyers. If Cardano can reclaim the 20-day exponential moving average at 52 cents, it could confirm a recovery for the cryptocurrency, but with the current market conditions, that's a big if. Cardano's price declined from 81 cents in mid-March to 44 cents, paints a picture of seller dominance. But what does this mean for Cardano's future? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into Cardano's price fluctuations and the market challenges this cryptocurrency faces. Cardano's price movement formed a V-top reversal pattern, a clear indication of seller dominance. But what exactly does this mean? Well, let's dive deeper into this. A V-top reversal pattern, as the name suggests, forms the shape of a V on the price chart, indicating a rapid price increase followed by a sharp decline. This pattern signifies that the market is primarily controlled by sellers, resulting in a price drop. In the case of Cardano, this V-top reversal pattern was evident when its price declined from 81 cents in mid-March to 44.9 cents. Now, you may wonder, why is this 44.9 cent level so significant? This is where the concept of Fibonacci retracement comes into play. For those unfamiliar with this term, Fibonacci retracement is a popular tool used by traders to identify potential price levels of support and resistance. It's based on the key numbers identified by mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci in the 13th century and is considered highly effective in predicting market fluctuations. In Cardano's context, the 44.9 cent level coincided with the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement making it a crucial support zone for ADA buyers. A support zone is a price level at which an asset's price tends to stop falling because of increased demand or buying interest. If Cardano's price manages to stay above this level, it could attract more buyers, potentially driving the price up. However, if the price falls below this support zone, it could lead to further declines as it indicates a weaker buying interest. While the 20-day exponential moving average, or EMA, at 52 cents could confirm a recovery for Cardano, the market volatility makes the future uncertain. The EMA is a type of moving average that gives more weight to recent data and is often used to identify short-term market trends. If Cardano's price can reclaim this EMA, it could signal a potential recovery. However, Given the current market volatility, it's tough to predict what the future holds. As with all investments, it's essential to do your research and stay informed. Be aware of the risks and remember that the value of investments can go down as well as up. Cardano, like other altcoins, is facing a tough market. The focus of traders on Bitcoin's stability post-halving is a significant factor, but how does this impact Cardano? In the world of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is often the elephant in the room. Its performance and stability can cast a long shadow over other cryptocurrencies known as altcoins. Cardano, despite its strong fundamentals and promising technology, is not immune to this influence. The process known as Bitcoin halving, which happens roughly every four years, is a significant event in the cryptosphere. It reduces the reward for mining new blocks by 50%, effectively cutting the rate at which new Bitcoin is created. This event can cause a lot of market volatility and traders often focus on Bitcoin's performance during this period, potentially sidelining altcoins like Cardano. This focus on Bitcoin can create several challenges for Cardano. Firstly, 
it can divert investment and trading activity away from altcoins. Traders may prefer to stick with Bitcoin, which is often perceived as a safer bet during volatile times rather than explore other options like Cardano. This can put downward pressure on the price of Cardano, as we've seen with the recent market sell-off. Secondly, the focus on Bitcoin can also delay the market rally for altcoins. A rally is a period of sustained increases in the prices of stocks, bonds, or indexes. This period of price increase can occur due to an increase in investment, an improvement in economic conditions, or other positive news. However, if traders and investors are engrossed in Bitcoin, the rally for altcoins like Cardano may be postponed. Even with these challenges, it's important to remember that the cryptocurrency market is highly dynamic and ever-changing. Factors that are relevant today may not be so tomorrow. The key for Cardano, as it is for any cryptocurrency, is to navigate these challenges while continuing to innovate and offer a compelling alternative to Bitcoin. The market challenges are real, and they're here, but how will Cardano navigate these choppy waters? We've discussed a lot about Cardano's price fluctuations and the market challenges it faces, but what are the key takeaways? Firstly, Cardano, like many other cryptocurrencies, is not immune to market sell-offs. The recent 30% drop from $0.62 cents to $0.45 cents is a stark reminder of this. It's a roller coaster ride in the crypto market, and Cardano is certainly on that ride. Secondly, it's important to remember that Cardano's price decline from $0.81 cents in mid-March to $0.44.9 cents formed a V-top reversal pattern. This indicates seller dominance, which is a vital piece of information for those looking to invest or trade in Cardano. Thirdly, the $0.44.9 cent level is a critical support zone for ADA buyers. This level coincides with the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. If Cardano's price can reclaim the 20-day exponential moving average at $0.52, cents, it could confirm a recovery for Cardano. However, we must also consider the challenges that Cardano faces. With the market's focus on Bitcoin's stability post-halving, this could potentially delay the market rally for top altcoins like Cardano. It's a challenging environment, but it's also one that presents opportunities. Cardano might adopt various strategies to navigate these market challenges. A keen focus on technology advancements and fostering a robust community could be key. However, as with all investments, risk is always a factor, and it's crucial to stay informed and make decisions based on thorough research. In conclusion, the future of Cardano is uncertain, but one thing is clear, the cryptocurrency market is a roller coaster ride, and Cardano is strapped in for the journey. It's a fascinating world of digital currencies, and we're all along for the ride. So buckle up, stay informed, and enjoy the journey.